There are 54 million amputees worldwide, and 45 million of them lack access to a prosthetic limb. The reasons for that are time and the, the cost of prosthetics. Non-Spec makes affordable, adjustable prosthetic limbs. It's actually an off-the-shelf kit that can be rapidly adjusted to fit a range of amputees and adjust with them as they change. My dad would bring some pieces home and show me what he was working on and I always thought it was really cool. So when I went to figure out what I wanted to do for college, I chose plastics because it was something that I could see being used in pretty much any industry. The hand was a collection of joints that we had designed to resemble a human hand and it had lines that would allow you to wear an ear cuff which monitors your, your, your concentration, your, your brain power, uh, and that would allow you to open and close the hand. And then one day we met a hand surgeon in Boston who was like, this is really bad design. It's not how thumbs work. It's not how the hand is supposed to curl. He was like, you know, People who are upper limb amputees, they get along really well. But people who are lower limb amputees are struggling to walk. Is this something you can use for them? We had to take all of our pieces and make them beefier. And we had to start thinking about what forces are used when people walk. Uh, so it's actually, when you are normally walking, you put three times your body weight through your leg. The devices that are already on the market only have a very slight angular adjustment available. Uh, we're actually coming in and making, making it so that you can adjust the height the amputee can adjust for changing something as simple as their shoes. We've automated the process in order to reduce the cost very substantially. Right now, our, our, what we're making in-house is 10 US dollars for us costs. So we went into India and we said, all right, we're gonna sell this for $50 because our low cost competitor is $50. And all the clinicians said, I'm not touching that. That means it must be the same low quality as our, that competitor. So we actually had to increase the cost of our product in order to be successful in the marketplace. It is our goal to make sure that our technology gets to the people who need it, and that is our first and foremost mission. We don't want to sacrifice it getting to people who need it for money. Originally, I didn't have something directly connecting me to the problem of amputation, which I'm lucky for. But as we started working with amputees, it was incredible to see the impact that our device could have. And just seeing people be able to return to their favorite sport, like to do things that they love easier, is really what sticks with me every day. And it helps drive us every time we reach a difficult point.